There is a simple three and a half step cycle that I use to get to five figure months and in income in my business and I continue using to level up and up and up, not only in my business, but every area of my life. And if you're wondering how the heck can this process be three and a half steps, I'll get to that in just a minute. But first I wanna start where I see that most people are and there's two steps in their process. There's learn and action. Right? They learn something new and they put it into practice. And then after that, they learn something new and put it into practice. Now this is kind of the, these are the two obvious steps. Right? And maybe I shouldn't even say they're obvious because a lot of people will just get stuck on one of these, right? Like they'll learn, 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 and they read a whole bunch of books and they watch videos and they buy courses and they go to seminars and they never actually do anything with it, right? Like obviously, if you're just learning all the time, you're not doing anything, you're not gonna have any results. And then there's also people that are just stuck on the action step where they're constantly acting, they're constantly trying new things, which is great, but on the other hand, they're having to figure out everything on their own. They're not learning from the people who have already tried it, who have already figured out what works, who already have the model. So obviously, if you switch between action, learn, action, learn, action, learn, you're gonna be in a much better position than if you only do one or the other. However, there is another step in this process that, or two steps, depending on how you look at it, that a lot of people I see are missing, and this has been a big key to my success. So what are the missing steps? Well, the missing step is strategize. Right, strategize. You learn something, and before you take action, you strategize. And then after you take action, Guess what? Well, you strategize again. So the missing step in both cases is strategize. And if you're wondering why I said that it's three and a half steps rather than, uh, rather than four steps, it's because, well, this is the same step. So I wasn't sure if I should count it as three steps or four steps. So I decided to just compromise and call it three and a half steps. But anyway, this strategize part is so important and so many people miss this because what ends up happening is that you learn something new. Oftentimes you just learn something that happened to appear to you, like something that was suggested on your YouTube feed or some Facebook ad came up for some cool new method. Like let's say that, um, that you learn about TikTok ads, for example. And you say, okay, well, yeah, TikTok ads, that's super cool. And then you go, you, you just do this, the normal process of learn into action. You say, okay, well, I'm gonna run some TikTok ads. And then you go learn some new thing. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to do shout outs on Instagram. And then you put that into action and you just, like, this is how that shiny object syndrome comes about, which probably all of us are guilty of. I know I certainly am. Like, entrepreneurs have a problem with shiny object syndrome. That's why this strat, well, one of the reasons why this strategize step is so critical, right? And I have it in here twice because what happens? Well, you learn. Let's say that you learn about TikTok ads. Well, then you want to strategize where does the thing that I learned fit into getting me to my goals, right? Where does this fit into my business? Where does this fit into my life? And by the way, this is not just uh, about business, right? It could be that you're trying to get in shape and you learned about some new kind of diet or you learn about some new exercise program, whatever, right? You want to figure out where does it fit into your overall plan before you go and take action on it, right? And then if you decide that it fits into your overall plan, that it's actually worth doing, which it very well may not, by the way, right? Like let's take this TikTok ads example. Well, maybe I have a business that's running on YouTube ads and YouTube ads are serving me just fine. Like I, I don't have a problem with ads. So it may be that it's really not worth my time at all to go learn another ad platform that's not really, I mean, it might have like incremental benefit over what I'm doing right now because there's always a way to improve, right? Like no matter how good you are, there's always a place to improve. However, it may very well be that that's not the place that I want to improve. So let's take a, a funnel example here. Um, so let's say I'm doing an ad to an opt-in page to a webinar to a sales page, right? Like this is a very typical um, coaching and course funnel that I do. And so, you know, if you're not familiar with me, I sell courses in online coaching. I show other people how to sell courses in online coaching too. So this is a very typical funnel. And so if my ads are already working fairly well, then putting time and effort into learning and improving my ads by learning a new platform like TikTok, well, it could make my ads better, right? It could. 
However, if my ads are already reasonably good, and let's say that my webinar sucks, right? My webinar conversion rate is, is pretty poor. Well, it would make a whole lot more sense to uh, work on my webinar conversion rate and just leave the ads alone. Now, this is difficult for people because here's the thing. Everything works, right? And, and you know, I hear like the, the cynical type of people say, oh, everything's a scam. I think the opposite. I think just about everything works. When somebody tells me about some like new online business model that they're doing TikTok ads or they're doing Instagram reels or whatever, that they're making money on Airbnb arbitrage, like it all works. That's the thing. There's somebody that's making tons of money because they're doing TikTok ads. There's somebody else that's doing t making tons of money because they're doing this Airbnb arbitrage, whatever. Like there's so many ways that you can make a ton of money. It's, it's the, like the best time in the world to make money. But the problem is that all of these things are so attractive that it, it makes you want to put your attention in all these different directions when if you try to do them all and you don't focus, you're never going to do any of them very well and you're probably not going to make any money. You have to be willing to focus on the thing that you want to do and shut out everything else. That's why strategizing is so important because it helps you figure out, okay, what do I want to focus on and what am I going to shut out? So let's say that you learn all about TikTok ads because it came up on your YouTube feed or whatever. Um, then you want to strategize, okay, where does this thing that I just learned fit into my overall plan? How does this help me get to my goals? Is this the best use of my time to put this into action right now? Or should I be focused on something else? And if it's not the best thing to be doing right now, is it something that maybe I want to consider in the future? Maybe is that like step four on my plan? Right? You want to strategize and figure out what action is the best action to take. Now, I want to give you another warning here in that if you get stuck in strategize and you never get to action, you're also going to be stuck. You're never going to get anywhere, right? If you keep thinking, if you get stuck in analysis paralysis with your, your analyzing these 45 different opportunities and you can never pick one and you never just go for it, like that's not going to work either. You want to um, keep this strategize step short. And I'm going to, in just a minute, I'm going to show you how exactly I do this strategize step uh, so that you're not wasting a whole bunch of time and keeping yourself from taking action. Uh, because like a lot of people, like a lot of people avoid this, which is really probably more out of fear than, than out of ignorance, right? They're just afraid to take action because they're afraid that they're going to fail. They're, gonna, they're afraid that they're not worthy or something like that, which is, you know, a topic for another day. Um, but, it, and if you do like those kind of topics and you want help with the mindset issues, take a look at my channel because I got a lot about that. But anyway, you strategize what's the best action to take. You take the action, then you strategize again right? You figure out, okay, what was the result of the action? How well did it work? Should I continue doing it? Should I tweak it? Should I figure out something else? Right? So let's say that, um, that I take the action and I implement the TikTok ads and they're, they're working wonderfully. And, and my ads are awesome. Like my ads are even better than before. Well, now I want to look at, okay, so now my ads are good. Like what is the bottleneck now? What point in this process is the, the weak point that it most needs to improve? And again, this does not have to apply just to business, right? If I'm um, looking at this from a, a standpoint of fitness, it could be that, you know, my diet is solid, but my exercise plan needs to improve. Or it could be that my diet and my exercise plan are, are solid and I need to fit in. There's some, something else that's holding me back. Maybe it's all the poisons in my environment. Maybe it's the shampoo with like the, the testosterone disrupting chemicals. Like it's disgusting. But um, before I get off on a completely tangent here, I want to strategize after I take the action, figure out, okay, what do I need to do next? Like, where is the area of highest impact? So, for example, let's, let's go back to my business example. Let's say that the webinar conversion rate is low, and so I need to figure out a better way of doing webinars. Well, I'm going to strategize my next step, which is learn, right? I'm going to say, okay, well, who knows how to get a good conversion rate on a webinar? Right. And so maybe I have to do a little research here as well. And I find what to learn next. I find, 
Um, to put it in, in Russell Brunson's terms, I really like how he says it. Who has the control? Like, who has the system that's already working that might be willing to teach it to me? And so that might be through a mentorship, it might be through a coaching program, it might be through a course, it might be through a book, it might be through a YouTube video. It really doesn't matter to me. And especially when we're talking about business, like whether it's a, um, whether it's like a, a $15 book or a $15,000 coaching program, if this thing is gonna make me millions, like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like $15 or $15,000, it's, it's all the same, right? I just wanna learn this as fast as I can um, so that I can, I can plug this gap in my process, so I can plug this gap in my funnel. And so let's say I find a course on how to uh, improve your webinar conversion rate, right? And so I take the course, I go back to my learn stage, right? I'm not, I'm not just learning randomly. That's the point here. Like if I just scroll through Facebook, I'll see ads for a gazillion different things, like a gazillion different strategies and a gazillion different business models. And I don't wanna just click on whatever is the shiny object. I need to strategize and figure out what is the thing that I want to learn, right? And then I learn the thing. And then again, uh, maybe I learn, I take this webinar course and then I strategize again. I figure, okay, with what I just learned, how do I apply this to my business? And you notice that the cycle just keeps repeating infinitely. Right, so I strategize, how do I apply this to my business? I, I take the action. Um, let's say this time it doesn't work, right? I, I don't get a meaningful improvement. Then I go back and strategize and say, okay, like what am I doing wrong? Why did I not get an improvement? Um, what can I do this time? And so, uh, and maybe you, you go straight from there back to action, right? Maybe you don't have to go take another course. Maybe, you, maybe when you strategized here, you had a list of five different things that you could do that might help, and you, you only did one of them. So now you just go back to number two and, and number three until it works. And then let's say I found something that works. Well, then I go back to here, right? Here's my, my process. Like which step in my process now is the bottleneck, right? It used to be the webinar was the bottleneck, but maybe my webinar is, is working really well right now. Well, um, obviously I can just increase the ad spend and start making a bunch more money, but at a certain point I'm gonna get diminishing returns and I'm gonna uh, run into another bottleneck, right? So. Maybe this time the bottleneck is the opt-in, right? I'm not really getting a very high opt-in rate. So what do I do? Well, I strategize. I figure out, okay, like, or I think, what can I do to improve my opt-in rate? And, you know, sometimes I might be able to, like, figure it out on my own, and I just go straight back to action. But sometimes I'm going to figure out, okay, well, I don't really know, so let me see what the experts have to say. Again, who has the control? Who has something that's already working really, really well that I can learn from, that I can copy? And then I find that person, that mentorship program, that book, whatever it is, I figure out what they're doing, I learn, I figure out, okay, what do I, how do I apply this, strategize, I apply it, I see how it works, and again, just keep going over and over and over again, and I keep going up and up and up and up, my performance increases uh, forever. So now that you understand my three and a half step cycle, let me go into how to strategize, like my exact process for doing this strategize step in both parts of the cycle here. Here I have a five step process, which is step one is what I call a notepad meditation notepad meditation this is something that i kind of invented myself i'm sure lots of other people are already doing it but i kind of figured out on my own um, i just sit down with a pen and a paper and my phone i take my phone i put it on airplane mode i set an alarm for 30 minutes i set it aside and then i um, just sit alone where i'm not going to be interrupted with my phone on airplane mode and come up with ideas, I strategize for the full 30 minutes and I don't let myself be distracted, I don't do anything in those 30 minutes except sit there writing on my notepad. So the first thing that I do is I figure out my goal, right? Is my goal to make $100,000 a month? Is my goal to put on 10 pounds of muscle? Again, like this, this will work for anything. This will work for fitness, for relationships, for how to get the house that you want to get, like how to build a business, how to get a promotion, like anything you can think of, this process works. So I figure out, okay, what's my goal? I write down the goal. 
And then I start strategizing um, how do I get it, right? So probably the next part is I'm going to map out my process. Map out my process like I did down here with, you know, the ad to the opt-in page, the webinar, etc. I map out the process that I have right now. Then I identify bottlenecks. And you'll have to excuse my handwriting getting worse and worse as I get further down the, the whiteboard and it's harder to, to write. But um, identify bottlenecks. I figure out, okay, what part of this process is the weakest link? Which part of this chain, if I was to improve it, would, sh would have the greatest impact on my business, right? And then based on that, I brainstorm solutions brainstorm solutions. So remember that there's two strategize steps. So let's say that I learned something and then I'm at strategize step number one. Well, the goal, right, and the map the process are going to be the same. The identify bottlenecks is going to be the same. Now when I get to this step five, brainstorm solutions, it's going to be based on what I just learned, right? Now, based on this new information that I have from the book or from the, the podcast or the online course or whatever that I just learned, what are the new solutions that I can come up with that are going to get, um, help me with that, that part that's a bottleneck in my process, right? And so when I figure that out, and it may be that what I just learned is not relevant at all, right? And that happens fairly often. It may be that um, you know, if I just learned about TikTok ads and I don't really need to do anything about my ads because my ads are already working fairly well, um, then I just skip it and I go straight, I go straight back to, okay, well, what do I need to learn, right? If, if what I learned is not sufficient, what do I need to learn, right? And then once we get to this point of uh, taking action, then we take action, and then we strategize again over here. And at that point, you know, again, the, the whole thing is the same ex is up until brainstorming solutions. My solutions are going to ba be based on what I just did, right? Or what I just learned, what I just attempted, and what the results are of that new strategy that I just attempted. So that might be, okay, so I implemented the TikTok ads and they're working fabulously, so now I need to um, identify, like, I need to figure out the bottle, the new bottleneck, right? Because it may be in the past the ads were the bottleneck, but now they're not anymore. Maybe now it's the opt-in page is the bottleneck. So I figure that out. Now I brainstorm solutions for the opt-in page and I, I figure out, okay, well, I need to find who has the control, who knows how to optimize an opt-in page. Uh, to get the most people to opt in. And so that becomes my next learning step. Or if the thing didn't work, right? Let's say I tried to improve my ads, but didn't work at all. Well, now I want to brainstorm, okay, what else can I do? Based on the information that I already have, based on I know that what I did didn't work, is there a way that I can tweak it? Or do I need to go back to the drawing board and actually find like a new course that's on some other type of ads? Do I just conclude that, that TikTok ads don't work or should I tweak it? Right, this is, this is why you really, really need to strategize because otherwise it's really easy to just kind of react emotionally and say, oh, TikTok ads don't work, which may not be the case at all, right? You want to you want to be very intentional, very clear about what you're doing at every step of the process. Right, so I hope you can see that this is just a, a cycle that repeats itself over and over and over again. And as you keep going through the cycle, you just, your performance goes up and up and up and up and it just like, you, that's how you grow um, forever. That's how you're constantly improving, constantly getting better and you're doing it quickly, right? You're not just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks, you're strategizing at every, every point in the process so that you're not spinning your wheels, so that you're not wasting your time, so that you're getting the fastest and most consistent progress possible. So give that a try, and if you want me to show you how to double your income, take a look at this video here where I show you exactly how to do that and why the system wants you to be broke and why that's so important that you know that so you can break out of it.